say I have a time lapse painting of um, Link as a kitty cat done in watercolor. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. this out, I used a water soluble graphite pencil because I wanted to get like a lineless kind of look. And I have this pencil since like high school and I haven't used it. So I wasn't really sure how it worked with the watercolor. So I, was th I thought, <laughs> why not use it to find out? And it came out kind of muddy. Usually when I do watercolor pieces, I sketch with like watercolor pencils and you know, like um, blues, purples, yellows, whatever my subject is, um, color palette is. That's what I tend to work, tend to color I grab. Oh, I can't talk today. And the graphite just made it like muddy, like kind of dirty looking. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But I just thought if I add a bit more layers on top of the that, then it wouldn't be so muddy and it'd be more bright. And luckily I was working with a brown color, so it wasn't too bad. If I was working on something bright and like bold and yellow, then I'd probably be in trouble, but thankfully not. And the materials I am working with is Strathmore Artist Styles watercolor paper. Um, and I'm using my Koi watercolor set. So I thought it'd be cute to draw Link as a little kitty cat because kitties are cute. And could you imagine one just like <laughs> roaming around Hyrule with a little hat on? <laughs> Isn't that's adorable, isn't it? So yeah, um, I added a bit of a, bra a reddish brown, this is like the third time I'm recording this, on top of the yellowish brown to make it more warm and less yellow. I wanted like the brown, I should probably stop explaining it before I ramble on. But yeah, I just added more layers on top of that. I decided, you know what, he needs stripes. So after I let the um, first layer dry, I started adding some little stripey stripes. <laughs> I'm so awkward, aren't I? And yeah, I added them on his face and some above his eyes. Uh, I added the one above his um, left eye because you could really see where I sketched it out, um, the mark, so I wanted it to look more clean. And then I just added blue for his eyes because that's where his eyeball's at. <laughs> I mean, that, those are the colors of his eyeballs. Why did I say that? And yeah, I just added more layers on top of his hat and started working on the shield. The shield kind of looks funky. I think it's since this is so small, it's kind of hard to get those details right. The, um, how do you say, the crescent, uh, it looks more like a, the, a maple leaf, I feel like I should be seeing, oh, Canada, because, uh, it just looks funny. <laughs> this is the finished piece, I hope you guys like it, if you have any, um, things you'd like to see me draw, leave them down below, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, bye!